Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Monday of the 24th week of Ordinary Time. Um, our first reading, St. Paul is asking Timothy to uh, spread the word to everyone to pray. Pray for all, but in particular today he's asking prayers for the people in charge, for the the kings and the princes and and uh you know, I think it's good for us today, too, to think about praying for our civic leaders, our politicians, those who are running for office, those who are already in office, so that uh, the Holy Spirit can guide them and give them hearts for the people. Um, you know, it's, it's easy to bash politicians, but I think... Uh, more than bashing, sometimes they, they do need prayer. All of them, whether you're uh, leaning uh, conservative or liberal, uh, all of them need, uh, need prayer and, and need to be guided by the Holy Spirit. So uh, let's, let's do that starting today, shall we? Uh, no negative ads from this front. We'll just stay positive and stay prayerful for all of our politicians, all of our civic leaders. Our gospel today, one of those civic leaders in Jesus' day, one of the centurions, a Roman centurion, uh, when Jesus crossed into Capernaum, uh, had a servant who was deathly ill, very gravely ill, and heard that Jesus was coming into the area so he sent a delegation of the Jewish leaders to uh, meet with Jesus and ask him if he could please come and heal his sick servant. And so the Jewish leaders did that. They went to Jesus and say, look, this guy's a good guy. He, he deserves uh, uh, this for him. He's, he helped us build a synagogue and he's, he loves our people. So would you please? And Jesus, of course, went with them towards the centurion's house. As they got closer, the centurion sent out his friends to say, look, uh, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But like me, you're a man of authority and power, and I bark orders, and people do this and do that when I say, just say the word. You know, and Jesus was amazed at the faith. And the servant was healed. The authority and the power and the mercy, love of our Lord, all on display here. And the faith, the faith of a foreigner, the faith of someone who, maybe not until that time, was Christian. He may have converted after that. You know, it's a cause for conversion, I would think. So uh, this is just a beautiful example of, of how the power and authority of our Lord could work. Now that phrase that the centurion uses today, you know, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. We pray that every time we're at Mass before we receive the Eucharist. And in truth, none of us are worthy, but when we trust in the power and authority of our Lord and know that he can heal us from all of our spiritual weaknesses, he can heal us from, from diseases and illnesses, and we trust him and we have faith in him, his authority and his power and his mercy flow endlessly. So we thank God, and in all humility, we ask him, even though we are unworthy, please do come and dwell within me. Enter under my roof, as unworthy as I am, because I know you can make me worthy. So we pray our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Give thanks to the Lord for his great love is without end. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords for his love endures forever. Who alone has wrought marvelous works for his love endures forever, whose wisdom it was made the skies, for his love endures forever. Who fixed the earth firmly on the seas, for his love endures forever. It was he who made the great lights, for his love endures forever. The sun to rule in the day, for his love endures forever, and the moon and the stars in the night, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God, the Almighty. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his love endures forever. He brought Israel out from their midst, for his love endures forever arm outstretched with power in his hand, for his love endures forever. He divided the Red Sea in two, for his love endures forever. He made Israel pass through the midst, for his love endures forever. He flung Pharaoh and his force in the sea, for his love endures forever. Through the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. Nations in their greatness he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, for his love endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his love endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his love endures forever. He let Israel inherit their land, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes, for his love endures forever. To the God of heaven give thanks, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty God, remember our lowliness and have mercy. Once you gave our fathers a foreign land to inherit. Free us today from sin and give us a share in your inheritance. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. A reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. May the Lord increase you and make you overflow with love for one another and for all, even as our love does for you. May he strengthen your hearts making them blameless and holy before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his holy ones. 
Accept my prayer, O Lord, which rises up to you. Accept my prayer, O Lord, which rises up to you. Like burning incense in your sight, which rises up to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Accept my prayer, O Lord, which rises up to you. Forever will my soul proclaim the greatness of the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Forever will my soul proclaim the greatness of the Lord. Jesus does not abandon those who hope in him. Therefore let us humbly ask, our Lord and our God, hear us. Christ our light, brighten your church with your splendor, so that it may be for the nations the great sacrament of your love, our Lord and our God, hear us. Watch over the priests and ministers of your church so that after they have preached to others, they themselves may remain faithful in your service. Our Lord and our God, hear us. Through your blood you gave peace to the world. Turn away the sin of strife, the scourge of war. Our Lord and our God, hear us. O Lord, help married couples with an abundance of your grace so that they may better symbolize the mystery of your church. Our Lord and our God, hear us. In your mercy, forgive the sins of all the dead, that they may live with your saints. Our Lord and our God, hear us. We pattern our prayer on the prayer of Christ and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Stay with us, Lord Jesus, for evening draws near. And be our companion on our way to set our hearts on fire with new hope. Help us to recognize your presence among us in the scriptures we read and in the breaking of bread. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Great night, everyone. And uh, we'll do this again tomorrow. I hope. God bless you.